I love all bitches. Brown square, oval bitches. Rich, poor, slave bitches. Smart, dumb, crazy bitches. Screw, horny, dirty bitches. Uh, what's up, big dick subs? This is probably one of the best trading methods in the game right now. Anyways, um, so moving on to Jadinko Slayer Tests. I took these off my perm block because I hated these. There's like fucking 30k experience an hour before, and they were just like a literally like a two hour task. Um, this task literally is 20 minutes. This task took me exactly 20 minutes to do. I think I got 90k attack experience from it, something like that. Now, the Slayer experience per hour is 70k per hour here. I got 6k experience per overload dose, so 72k an hour to be exact. Now, that is with the Steel Titan. I did use my Steel Titan quite a bit on this task, which is kind of the annoying part of it is that it's not really AFK at all. Um, but it's definitely worth the experience per hour for melee. So with these experience equals just around 270k to 300k um, attack experience per hour or strength or defense or I guess if you're training all three of them it's 100k attack strength and defense per hour so that's kind of interesting but anyways um, besides that I did use the rapiers they are weak to stab attack so duo rapiers obviously is what you're going to want to use. Now one thing I've also noticed about this task is that um, I don't know if you guys do any kind of type of uh, Jadinko hunting like hunting the uh, Javanic Jadinkos and all that crap. But this will actually help you get started on it. Um, the fact that you can kill these so fast and they still give you the same amount of points. As you guys see in the top left corner of my screen, or the top right, I'm not exactly sure where it is. I'm doing a taco right now. But um, yeah, it will say favor points or some crap like that, and it's out of 2,000. Um, and you'll see me at the end of this uh, clip, end of this video, me going in and cashing in my favor points. What you do is you go to the wall over there and you claim... Um, you claim uh, Teleports and seeds, and what these seeds actually are are seeds for uh, herbivore habitat, Jadinko hunting. Um, and what they do is basically like for hunting potions um, for the herbivore habitat, uh, which you need for general Jadinkos, and uh, Semedian, whatever, Eugene ones, which are the ones, or Yugin ones, whatever you want to call them, which are for um, the farming potions, which give you like double herbs every like. 30% chance, whatever, I don't want to get into that shit, that's a different video, um, which I probably won't ever make, because I'm not that great at uh, Jadinko stuff, but um, yeah, there's a bunch of seeds there uh, you can get, and you will want these whenever you go for 99 or 200 mil hunting, so I guess this is a great way to start off, is getting all the seeds, because if you don't have all the seeds, you're going to have to hunt the shitty Jadinkos to get all these seeds slowly, and then you can slowly progress, but yeah, it's very nice to get them from here, so it's kind of a, a little bonus, I guess you can say. But yeah, this task is probably going to be a definite, definite do for me, um, just because of the fact that it's a lot of melee experience per hour. Um, the only uh, thing I'm kind of worried about is for getting 200 mil Slayer is the fact that I feel like I won't even get 200 mil attack anymore. I'm currently, uh, let me see, 60, 65 mil attack experience off. And right now I'm kind of getting almost a 1 to 1 ratio with Slayer and attack, which is good. Um, that will get me 200 mil attack by the time I am 200 mil Slayer. Um, I'm pretty sure I would definitely get Twin World Defense before I do get Slayer, so that's kind of interesting too. And I guess range is the next type of a um, little bit of a worry. I'm 60 mil till 200 mil range, and I am 80 or 75 mil to 200 mil Slayer. So it feels like almost all those skills will fit in perfectly whenever I get 200 mil Slayer. But yeah, I do need to add this in. I do have a Slayer Helm on, obviously, which I'm pretty sure Slayer Helm is still the 15% uh, bonus for um, any type of melee or range, or you know, I guess if you have the full Slayer Helm. Um, so I guess if you are to train here with like a Nezi Helm, you're not going to get 300k or 270k attack experience per hour. You'll probably get, I guess, 15% below that, around there, exactly, kind of, which is like, what, 250 or, no, no, 220 to at least 200k plus combat. Um, now I heard that this one, I think it's uh, the Dungeoneering, uh, it's not a glitch, I'm not sure if it is or not, but I'm pretty sure it's not AFK either. Um, it's, it's a one skin weaver boss, I think it's called, whichever one. It's the one where like there's a bunch of doors in the room, um, and all these little skeletons and mages come out of there, and zombies, whatever it is. It's, it's on an abandoned floor. Um, apparently that method is 300k uh, melee per hour. Um, it's in a dungeon It's in a dungeon area. Um, but I'm not sure if that still works or not. They're probably going to patch it, I'm guessing, but um, I guess that is 300k experience per hour as well. But this is just a lot more simple to me than having to do all that crap. And I'm pretty sure you do have to use abilities while you're doing it. I don't think you can use momentum. But anyways, um, yeah, hopefully that, uh, well, it does wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, so once to wrap it up again, um, 72k Slayer per hour and almost 300k melee or combat experience per hour, defense, strength, or attack, and yeah, weak to stab, so definitely use that. Um, obviously, I'm just wearing my Torva. I'm not sure if it's better to use any other type of armor. I'm pretty sure they made you a lot, but 
with soul split on it you know these things die really fast and quick you don't really have to worry too much about your hp and stuff like that it's actually crazy watching them die this fast i mean they used to be such a slow task and now it's such an you know like you literally kill them it took me 20 minutes to kill 180 of them it used to take me almost two hours to kill like 210 of them like that's just crazy but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next video don't forget to give a quick little no, no, no. A quick big dick like. There we go.